hello friends welcome to my youtube channel the topic that i am going to discuss today is antigen antibody interaction this topic is related to immunology that is study of immune system in this video i am going to discuss four things first what is antigen and antibody second what is epitope and paratope third characteristic of antigen antibody interaction that is concept of avidity and affinity and fourth types of antigen antibody reactions now let us understand what is antigen and antibody if you are new to my channel and you have not yet subscribed subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get all the latest updates of my new uploads now let us continue with the remaining part of the video antigen and antibody now let us understand antigen first it is defined as a foreign substance that can induce an immune response it is often used as a synonym for immunogen now let us understand what is antibody it is defined as an immunoglobulin protein molecule synthesized on exposure to antigen that can combine specifically with that antigen now let us understand what is epitope and paratope epitope and paratope epitope it is that area on the surface of an antigen stimulates a specific immune response and against which that response is directed it is synonymous with an antigenic determinant paratope it is the site in the variable domain of an antibody or t cell receptor that binds to an epitope on an antigen now let us understand the characteristic of antigen antibody interaction characteristics of antigen antibody interaction antibody affinity is a measure of the strength of interaction between an antibody combining site that is paratope and its epitope the antigen antibody binding involves multiple non covalent bonds such as hydrogen bond electrostatic bond hydrophobic bond van der waals bond and salt bridges although each single bond is weak the sheer number of bonds formed add up to a considerable binding energy however the interacting groups must be closely associated to follow the formation of these bonds since the forces of attraction that form these bonds rapidly decline with increasing distance the strength of a non covalent bond is critically dependent on the distance that is d between the interacting groups being proportional to 1 by d square for electrostatic forces and and to 1 by d to the power 7 for van der waal forces thus interacting groups must be in quite intimate contact for before these attractive forces come into play for a paratope to combine with its epitope the interacting sites must be complementarity in shape charge distribution and the hydrophobicity and in terms of donor and acceptor groups capable of forming hydrogen bonds close proximity of two protein surfaces can also generate repulsive forces if electron clouds overlap in combination the attractive and repulsive forces have a vital role in determining the specificity of the antibody molecule and its ability to discriminate between structurally similar molecules all antigen antibody interactions are reversible so at equilibrium the law of mass action can be determined the strength with which a multivalent antibody binds a multivalent antigen is termed as avidity to differentiate it from affinity which is the sum of attractive and repulsive forces determined for a univalent antibody fragment binding to a single antigenic determinant the avidity of an antibody for its antigen is dependent on the affinities of the individual antigen combining site for the epitopes on the antigen avidity will be greater than the sum of these affinities if both antibody binding sites bind to the antigen because all antigen antibody bonds would have to be broken simultaneously for the complex to dissociate now let us understand types of antigen antibody reactions 
द टाइप्स ऑफ एंटीजन एंटीबॉडी रिएक्शंस आर फर्स्ट प्रेसिपिटेशन रिएक्शन सेकंड एग्लूटिनेशन रिएक्शन थर्ड कॉम्प्लीमेंट फिक्सेशन फोर्थ एलाइजा दैट इज एंजाइम लिंक्ड इम्यूनोसॉर्बेंट एसे एंड फिफ्थ इम्यूनोफ्लोरेसेंस I will be uploading videos on each and every types of antigen antibody reaction in detail so stay tuned and do subscribe my channel